What's up everybody and welcome back. Today we're back in Cary and we're gonna be talking about the differences between East Cary and West Cary. So they're quite different even though they're both Cary. There's huge differences between living and playing and working in East Cary and West Cary. So let's dive in and talk about some of the specifics and what those differences are and what may be best for you as you determine is East Cary or West Cary better for you. And yeah, we're taking it back to the 90s rap battles of East versus West. All right, so West Cary, it's known for its location and proximity to RTP. It's got a great suburban lifestyle. If you need to hit shopping or a strip mall of any type, you've got plenty of options in West Cary to be able to do that. Because West Cary is newer than East Cary, you're gonna see a lot more planned communities than you would in East Cary. One of the best neighborhoods in West Cary and most popular neighborhoods is Amberley. Amberley has this really cool pool, but they also have walkable or brewery and coffee shop within the neighborhood. So if you look to be in West Cary, what are some of the neighborhoods that are gonna come up in your search? Amberley is definitely gonna be high on that list. Preston is gonna be on that list. Those aren't the only neighborhoods in West Cary. Those are just some of the most popular ones. There's a ton of different smaller neighborhoods that have that same look and feel that Amberley does or Preston does. There are a ton of different options to take a look at. They may not be at the size and scale of your Amberley or your Preston, but the options are there. East Cary, this is gonna be the older part of Cary. And so some popular neighborhoods there are gonna be your Lockmere and your McGregor Downs. And those are gonna have a much different style and feel than an Amberley or a Preston. They're just as nice, just as prestigious. They just have a different feel. Older, you have a ton of trees versus Amberley and West Cary has been clear cut. You don't have the same trees and kind of feel that you do in Lockmere or in McGregor Downs. Also in McGregor Downs, we're seeing a ton of teardowns. And if you wanna learn about McGregor Downs, you can watch our video here to learn more about McGregor and the same for Lockmere here. Outside of Lockmere and McGregor Downs, there's a ton of different smaller neighborhoods to choose from that have that same type of older feel. They've been around since the 70s, 80s, early 90s. They have a ton of trees. So you get a different style of home, of course, in those communities than you would in a newer community in West Cary, such as Amberley. Also within East Cary, we would add that downtown Cary is technically East Cary. And so you're gonna have that ability to hit downtown Cary and do all of the fun things that downtown Cary has to offer in a little bit closer proximity than maybe you would in West Cary. If you live in West Cary, you may choose to visit downtown Durham as it's a little bit closer than it is to downtown Cary. Of course, tons of different options and choices. These are just some of the differences between East Cary and West Cary. All right, so let's talk about the vibe and the feeling that you get. Maybe you live out of town and you haven't visited Cary. What could you expect? So in West Cary, kind of a busier lifestyle there. Also have a lot of different strip malls and shopping centers located in West Cary. So you're gonna feel that traffic. Whereas in East Cary, things are maybe a little bit slower moving. There's more room to roam around. You have a little more privacy, you have a bigger lot, and that's Part of the reason why it feels you know a little bit slower there and in west Cary, you're kind of packed in a little bit closer to your neighbor you can kind of reach out and share the sugar if you need to and so because of that it just gives that a different lifestyle a different feel to each neighborhood there's no good or bad about either one all right so let's talk housing in both east Cary and west Cary and what you can expect right so in west Cary again you get the newer homes and the prices in both east and west Cary are relatively the same so for say five hundred to six hundred thousand dollars in West Cary, you can expect a townhouse. Now this would be a nice townhouse, maybe a three-story townhome. Probably get a garage or a two-car garage with that. But in East Cary, for five or six hundred thousand dollars, you're going to get a smaller home on a bigger lot. You can find a single-family home for that price, and it's going to have maybe no garage. And so there's some differences in what you can get. And just for an update, multiple offers are back all over the place in Cary. We are seeing it happen all the time. We recently had a listing in East Cary, we had over 20 offers in less than 48 hours. 
So if you want to be in East Cary or West Cary, I highly suggest talking to an agent who knows those markets specifically, whether that's us or someone else. I think it's imperative that they know the markets and know the neighborhoods in particular. They can be sure to pin down on how to best navigate finding you the home. What you don't want is you don't want to overpay, but you also want to make sure that you have the opportunity to get it. And talking to the right agent is a key component in making that happen. All right, so we hope you enjoyed this battle of East versus West. Let us know in the comments what you would pick, East versus West. Even if you're not looking right now, very curious to hear what you think. And let us know if there are other parts of town that you want us to explore. Leave that in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe. We'll talk to you soon.